and today I am bringing to you my very first um, video for Butterbee Scraps and Monique has an online store, uh, it's a Zip It store and if you haven't visited Butterbee Scraps before um, I really encourage you to hop on over there and check it out. I will leave the link, the link is right here to her Zip It store but I will also leave the link down below in the description box to her store and uh, if you like making jewelry, uh, general crafting, mixed media, she has a wonderful selection of metal filigrees, charms, beads, uh, bead caps, crystals, and she also carries a large variety of like bronze, silver, and copper and her prices are fabulous. They're very inexpensive and it makes crafting affordable using some of these fun embell embellishments and stuff so um, like I said I will leave all of the links below down in this description box okay so so the project I have to share with you today is a bracelet that I made using some of the filigrees from her store and first I'm just going to give you a look at the bracelet and then I will um, explain it to you a little more give you some details on how I created the bracelet so we'll just take a look at it here. There's the toggle and the base piece here. This is one long piece that goes across the back. You can see a little bit on each side of it. And then there's a larger butterfly with a smaller fil filigree butterfly in the center. And then I added some crystals from my own stash. So, And then there's chain across the bottom. And then I created a little dangle here. I'm um, using a couple of beads from my stash and one of the rondelles from the store and then another little butterfly charm here. Okay, so to start out with this, I'm just going to show you what the pieces looked like beforehand. And I used a combination of different metal fil filigree pieces. I like combining the metals. I like the look and now that, that seems to be very popular, the trend is combining metals. So this larger piece on the back here that you can see a little bit of, this is what it started out like. And it's a large um, copper filigree piece. And the number for that is 553-C. And these are sold in quantities of eight. And um, I believe they're $1.60 for eight of these pieces. So, and the thing that I love about these is they're nice and sturdy, but yet they're also very lightweight. They're flexible, easy to bend and shape and stuff. And they're also um, thin enough that you can go in and cut out if you want little bits and pieces of detail, if you don't want to use the whole entire filigree piece. So that is really nice. Okay, so this was the base piece, and this started out as copper. And then the next piece that I used was the butter, the large butterfly. And this is a bronze uh, filigree butterfly embellishment. And the number for that is 887. And these come in a quantity of six for $1.40. So, and that's a really nice size butterfly. I love like all the kind of like veining here and it's raised up and stuff. So it has some nice fun texture to it too. So this started out as bronze. And then the last piece in this layer that I use for the bracelet is this little silver butterfly here. Um, these are currently not available on the website, but if you go to the website, she has a wonderful selection of um, several different butterfly filigree pieces and stuff. So, but this was the smaller one that I used. And um, to do the coloring on these, what I used was Rub and Buff and this is very easy to use. I used a white rub and buff on the large butterfly and then for the smaller butterfly and the copper filigree piece here I used a patina rub and buff and that's how I got that really pretty um, kind of a bluish green tone to it and I think when these pieces are layered together with a bluish green tone they make the white almost look like a, a lighter kind of bluish green but but that is a white on there and stuff so 
Um, if you've never used Rub and Buff, what I do with it, I just um, I apply like a little dot of it. It's kind of creamy, and I just put a little dot of it like on scrap paper, and I put some rubber gloves on, and I just rub it in, and I make sure that I get it like in all of the little crevices and the details and stuff, and then I let it sit for a little bit, and then I buff it off with um, a cloth so that some of the metal will show through. So, And then usually I seal the pieces too, like with a Krylon um, hat finish spray. So... And then to adhere all the pieces together, I use a combination of E6000. And then I also use um, this GS Hypo Cement. And the thing that I really like about this when you're working with very detailed metal filigrees is the very, very tiny... I have to be careful doing this. Oh, I see it's got a little glop of stuff left over on here. But can you see how tiny that is? And you can get just nice, nice, tiny little dots of this on your metal filigree pieces. So um, that is uh, really nice to be able to do. It's a little bit hard to sit and try to do this on camera. <laughs> it's got such a tiny little dip there. Okay. So, um, so basically what I did was first I used the rub and buff to color all the pieces, buffed off the excess, and then I sealed them with a Krylon spray. And I use the E6000 and the um, cement. I use little clamps to hold these in place while the glue was drying. And I just shaped the larger piece. Uh, basically, I laid it like on my wrist and then just kept kind of bending it and shaping it until I got the shape that I wanted. And then, like I said, I added the little dangle here. These are some beads for my stash. And this is a little um, rhinestone rondelle that Monique carries in the store. Um, these are little spacer beads. And the number on that is BD010-P slash CL. And these come in a quantity of 18, and they're $1.75. And I believe they are uh, about an 8 millimeter. So, and then this is a little um, butterfly charm that I used here, and I forgot to write down the number. <laughs> Um, on this, but Monique was, also carries these little butterfly charms in her store, and I added some white rub and buff on this too, and this started out as a bronze piece, okay? And then I used some jump rings from her store here to attach everything, and um, the jump rings, those, you get like a total of 75 of those in a packet, and you get 6 millimeter, 8 millimeter, and 10 millimeter. So you get like 25 of each size, and those sell for 75 cents. So those are a really great deal. I just used some chain to connect along the bottom. And this is some chain I have for my stash. And then here is the toggle piece, and this started out as a copper, and I also used some of the patina rub and buff on that, and I forgot to write down the number for that too, but I will um, leave all of this, uh, all the information and stuff um, down in the, um, down below the video and everything, so you'll be able to go and find all the pieces on there. So. So anyways, this was the bracelet that I created. Uh, like I said, after all these pieces were dried, I added some crystals from my own stash and stuff. So um, I hope that you like the bracelet that I created. Uh, I lo love making jewelry. And with the metal filigree pieces that Monique carries in her store, like I said, um, it makes it very affordable if you like creating jewelry, mixed media even paper crafting you can add the metal filigrees and the charms and stuff too so so um thank you for joining me today and um like i said i will leave all the information down below the video here and i will leave links to um butterbee scrap the zibit store and monique also has butterbee scraps youtube channel and then she also has a YouTube channel for the design team, so I encourage you to subscribe to those so that you don't miss anything. Uh, we have a really great team, very talented people. And I will also leave a link to my blog and my Facebook page where you can see, um, find out more details and see the pictures and supply lists and everything. So, But um, thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.